Hello students. Now today in this chapter we are going to talk about uh, about the lightning. Okay, which kind of lightning? I am sure all of you might have seen lightning uh, in the sky. Okay. So, what is this lightning actually? Okay, and why do you see this lightning in the sky? So, this lightning is nothing just a streak of light you know just a streak of light uh, which is accompanied by the thunder okay which is accompanied by the loud noise loud what sound okay so now today we are going to talk about this lightning streak uh, of the light which is visible in the sky okay so why does it happen children any idea about this what happened actually in the sky because of that you can see this lightning Okay, so to begin with children actually when there is a heavy rain storm okay so very heavy dark black clouds they move very fast in the sky okay what I am saying when it rains very very heavily okay during the heavy rains during the heavy storm what happens the heavy dark black clouds they move very fast in the sky. Now when these clouds move okay when these clouds move very fast okay so sometimes even these clouds fly very low. Now what are these clouds made up of many particles along with that water droplets are there okay water droplets are there and along with the water droplets ice particles are also there children ice particles okay so in the cloud what is there water droplets are there and ice particles are also there now when these clouds move through these clouds even the wind moves very uh, with a high speed okay when these clouds move through these clouds even the wind passes very fast now due to the passing of wind these two comes in contact you know friction uh, is caused over there so water droplets and ice particles they are rubbed strongly with each other okay what is happening water droplets and ice particles are rubbed strongly with each other now the lighter particles okay the lighter particles they develop positive charge and they shift on the upper side the lighter particles will develop with charge positive charge and where they will shift children they will shift on the upper end of the clouds as they are lighter okay now when we talk about the heavy particles the heavier particles what happen the heavier particles they come towards the lower surface of the clouds okay they come towards the lower surface of the clouds and they start aggregating over here okay they start aggregating over here and where are the lighter and the uh, positively charged particles children they have come over here now you know what happens children actually when this too much of uh, charges are present okay like when the positive charge is also increased when the negative charge is also increased now what happened now the exchange of charges starts you know taking place again see wind is blowing continuously hmm? so because of the passing of the wind these particles came uh, into friction like there was a friction between these two particles these particles were rubbed against each other due to this what happened children the lighter particles the positively charged particles moved towards the upper end of the clouds and the negatively charged particles the lighter particles they shifted towards the lower part of the clouds okay now again when the wind passes through this what happened you know now now this charges because too much of charge is aggregated over here too much of positive charge is there and too much of negative charge is also there so now exchange or the passing of 
charges takes place okay the charge will flow from one side to the another side okay what will happen when the charge will increase when too much of charge is here too much of positive charge and too much of negative charge then what will happen the passing of charges the passing or the moving of the charges takes place now whenever this negative and positive this charge is comes in contact then what happen streak of light can be seen okay the streak of light can be seen this light can be seen for a you know it's very momentary it, it can be seen for a very less time okay it can be seen for a very less time but the heat which is produced is very high you know the heat which is produced is very high now whatever heat is produced you know what happens when the heat is produced now the molecules which are present over here okay like they uh, what will happen when lot of uh, disturbance will be created over here now in this waves in this molecules okay in this layers when the disturbance is created okay when the energy is very high when the disturbance is so much of disturbance is created and this part will be heated as well isn't it this part will be heated as well and so the sound is heard so the sound is heard first of all what is happening children we are talking about the streak of light in the sky the lightning which can be seen in the sky so why it can be seen in the clouds the water droplets are there ice particles are there when the wind passes through this clouds what happen the heavier particles they settle down the negatively charged particles the heavier particles or the particles uh, which which has got more mass they will settle down and the lighter particles will shift towards the upper end of the clouds now now what will happen children when too much of charge is aggregated when too much of positive charge is there when too much of negative charge is there then the transfer of charge of the charges takes place whenever the transfer of charges takes place whenever the charges flow from this side to that side that means what will happen see we all know the opposite charges they attract each other isn't it so because because of that the streak of light can be seen now this streak of light is very momentary it remains only for few uh, seconds you know but it produces lot of heat when lot of heat is produced in this air the layer of air around the cloud also become heated it also gets heated also now when this this part gets heated and expands rapidly why it will expand children see whenever a substance is heated whether whatever uh, gas liquid or solid it expands okay so when this heat is passed over here the air around it it expands and loud noise can be heard now i said when this in this cloud when the exchange of charges takes place or when the charge flows from here to here when too much of charge was aggregated or will be aggregated the positive charge will flow here and negative will flow there and the streak of light will be seen but children always this is not the case okay there can be another cloud okay which is passing nearby okay there can be another cloud which is passing nearby and this will have what this is upper end so it will have what charge positive charge and this part will have negative charge isn't it so again you know uh, whenever the clouds collide okay whenever the clouds collide with the opposite ends okay whenever the cloud collides with the opposite ends or if you uh, are confused in that so i should say with the opposite charges okay positive charge of here and negative charge of here they collide with each other or negative of this and some more cloud okay another cloud positive of this so whenever the opposite part of the opposite charges of the clouds they comes in contact they collide and again the transfer of charges takes place and again the streak of light will be seen this streak of light will be again seen like it's momentary it won't be there for long period of time it will be for a very less time but again lot of heat will be produced isn't it lot of heat will be produced so this is how the lightning occurs in the sky we'll write also we'll talk about that but in this contact only first of all i'll carry a, uh, with the 
explanation children now you might have heard that it is always told that whenever it is uh, that whenever the lightning is there in the sky one should not go out okay what happens actually why is it so so we'll talk about all this thing in detail now so now this thing is very clear to you that why lightning occurs in the sky why there is trick of light in the sky nothing is there only the clouds are moving in the clouds the the charges are formed the heavier particle will go where the heavier particle will settle down with a negative charge and the what will happen the lighter particle will settle up now whenever the charges are too much too much of charges get aggregated exchange of charges will takes place or flow of charges will takes place when the opposite charges they will collide with each other then what will happen this trick of light will be there now one more thing that when the clouds of no when the two clouds they collide with each other with the opposite charges okay when the two clouds they comes in contact with each other they collide with each other and the charges are opposite okay here the positive charge is colliding with the negative charge of this cloud and here the positive charge of this is colliding with the negative charge of this so whenever this happens so again the trick of light can be seen due to this trick of light which is very momentary it will remain only for some seconds few seconds but lot of heat will be created so much of heat will be created children that the air around it will expand when the air around it will expand will give rise to a loud sound which we call as thunder okay now please remember this point that this trick of light is momentary but the heat produced will be in large amount large amount of heat will be produced now children see it's always told that first of all let me write the heading children what we are studying we are studying lightning okay you know it is always told children that during lightning we should always remain uh, far we should always stay far from tall buildings tall towers tall chimneys tall trees why something is very wrong with this word tall or what see when we say when uh, it is said that tall chimneys tall this tall that children nothing special with the tall word but the thing is that when the object is very tall okay when the building is very very tall the distance between the cloud and the building will decrease isn't it when the building which is in con which is very tall okay when the building which is very tall okay when the building is very very tall the distance between the clouds okay here also we have cloud so the distance between the cloud and the building will decrease talk about tall tower again the distance between the clouds and particular object whatever you talk about it get decreased okay whenever this distance get decreased what happens you know the flow of charges becomes very easy the charge can flow very easily because the distance is very short now what will happen if a very tall building is there what are the chances why why it is said that stay away from the long towers uh, stay away from the tall buildings stay away from the tall trees during the lightning why is it so why is it told children so please pay attention over here now this is again a cloud okay now this cloud has negative charge over here okay and positive obviously over here okay now this is a very tall building now you can see that distance between this and this is very small okay obviously it won't be so small it's a board okay so the distance between this building and this cloud is very small so now what will happen children you know when the lot of negative charge is aggregated over here when lot of negative charge is there okay when lot of negative charge is gathered over here it's aggregated over here it's collected over here it is present over here you know what can uh, happen like too much of charge which charge is a negative 
too much of negative charge is here so long buildings long trees they are prone to develop very fast positive charge among the self okay so what will happen in this part lot of positive charge will be developed okay or the positive charge will start aggregating this side now when the positive charge is here negative is here then what will happen the charge will flow from here to here okay the charge will flow and this charge which was there earlier in the clouds will be passed towards what now building this charge from the clouds will be passed towards what now it will be passed towards the building okay now when the charge is passed towards the building so what happen children it can be very very dangerous the building can catch fire the whole building can get destroyed can can burn can get burn you know why it can can uh, <laughs> why it can burn because i told that lot of heat is produced okay if you remember i told over here that whenever this opposite charges they uh, come in contact with each other streak of light is seen which is momentary but what is happening lot of heat is produced if you remember i told due to this lot of heat only what is happening due to this lot of heat the disturbance uh, will be created here okay as the air will expand when the air expands lot of disturbance will be there and that is heard as the thunder that will be heard as what thunder okay now so again when i'm saying lot of heat will be transferred over here when lot of heat is transferred over here then what can happen this whole building can catch fire the whole building can catch fire and in this catching of fire if some pipeline of gases or you know some related to oil comes in contact just imagine the amount of disaster which can takes place isn't it the amount of destruction which can takes place it will be what it will be very vast isn't it it will be very very vast isn't it so now the object whatever is here if that object is good conductor okay if that object is good conductor of electricity then what can happen you know that a good conductor of electricity can pass the charge safely to the ground the good conductor of electricity if it is here can pass the charge safely to the ground okay so now we will talk about a uh, lightning conductor okay what is the meaning of the lightning conductor okay so what is the meaning of lightning conductor children what is lightning conductor it is just you know a good conductor of metal which is good conductor of electricity okay good conductor of electricity which is attached here okay the good conductor of electricity which is supposed to be attached to the highest point of the building okay now this is a lightning conductor this lightning conductor has sharp edges okay the forked edges okay first of all what is the lightning conductor children lightning conductor is an instrument or a device through which the uh, this light or the you know the current charges can be directly passed through the surface of the earth inside the surface of the earth now so this is lightning conductor this one is forked one okay now here we will have a copper strip and from here the wire will come out which is or which will be buried deep into the surface of the earth which will be buried deep into the surface of the earth again we'll talk about this children now what i'm talking about i'm talking about lightning conductor what i'm talking about children i'm talking about lightning conductor now what is this lightning conductor lightning conductor is an instrument or a device which prevents the tall buildings tall towers from this lightning okay how can it prevent i'll tell you that okay but first of all what is this this is a forked part this is a sharp part okay now this is a lightning conductor this is sharp part here one 
metal strip or the copper strip is attached. Now, to this again one wire is attached and this wire will be buried inside the earth. Okay, it will be buried inside the earth little bit far or distance, little distance away from the building. Now what happens? What is the importance of this children? Now, here negative charge is there. Now, when this charge will pass over here, it will be attracted by this. Okay, when the charge comes to this, it will automatically this charge will move. This is charge suppose so it will move from here to here and directly it will go inside the earth. Earthing will take place children. Earthing will take place. Now what is the meaning of earthing children? Earthing means the transfer of charge from an object to the surface of the earth. What is the meaning of earthing children? The transfer of charge, okay? The transfer of charge from where? From an object to the surface of the earth that is known as what? Lightning. It is known as what children? It is known as what? Lightning. Okay. So again we will talk about this. This is what? Lightning conductor. Lightning conductor is having sharp edges. Okay. This one is having sharp edges. Now this has a capacity to attract the charge. Charge will be attracted over here but now it is not going to be uh, uh, very harmful for the building. It won't be harmful because it won't get chance to pass inside the building. It won't come inside the building rather what will happen children it from this forked part it will directly go to this copper strip now here the good conductor the wire is attached and obviously it is going to pass over here and through this point it is going to get buried inside the surface of the earth it is going to get buried inside the surface of the earth that means it will pass to the surface of the what this wire is buried inside the earth isn't it so it will just pass it will, what current will pass to inside the surface of the earth and that's all this building will be very very safe okay this building will be very 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 safe okay so this was all what we read about lightning definitely i'm going to write all this okay now after this also we are going to discuss how to prevent ourselves from the lightning or what are the measures which has to be taken or which uh, points uh, have to be there in our mind when lightning occurs okay so first of all what we have discussed is why the lightning occurs in the sky okay why does the lightning occurs in the sky and about the lightning conductor also we studied so now what we'll be doing we'll be writing the same thing over this part